Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a pick a card reading. So it is what is just ahead for us. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what spirit has to say in regards to what's just ahead for us in our lives. Now this could bring anything through. So we're going to go ahead and just shuffle the cards and I'm going to go ahead and select everything on camera so you guys can wait and look at the stacks that I create to make your decision, or you can just go ahead and pick either one, two, or three. You guys are more than welcome to pick multiple choices or the entire reading. It's completely up to you. But I will go ahead and let you guys know what I'm using as I shuffle each deck. So I'm actually going to be using seven, seven decks here today. The very first deck that we're going to be using here is the Signs from Spirit Love Oracle, which I created. It is available in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. So as I shuffle each deck, I'm just going to literally put it to the side. Put it right over there. And as a matter of fact, I've got some decks up here I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of so I can make some room. Okay, so let me put this over here. Sorry, guys. And how do I select my decks? I, honestly, I just go for it. I just grab whatever I'm feeling, and that's just how I felt about this. No rhyme or reason why I chose these decks. This is called the Chakra Insight Oracle Cards. This is a variety of decks. I love doing this, especially with Dorian Virtue decks, because I literally have like 30, I think. Does she make 30? Probably she makes a lot of decks. I have almost every single one of them. But I like to combine decks here. I've got Archangel Michael, Ascended Masters, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Gabriel. So I like to combine these oracles, and I like to just basically pick from them. So we're just going to go ahead and shuffle these up a bit. All right, we're going to put these on top. Dreams of Gaia Tarot by Raven Felon. And I'll put these right there. This is my newest deck. It is called the Cosmos Tarot and Oracle deck. It's an amazing deck, okay? I'm probably not going to do it justice because I'm still learning the deck, um, but I will do my best, okay? But thank God it's an Oracle deck and a Tarot deck because that just means that maybe if somehow the uh, Oracle message just isn't coming through, I can always rely on the traditional Tarot message. And it's a newer deck, so it's a little hard to shuffle still. But I love that it's got that gold edge there. This right here is called the Energy Oracle Cards. I know things are a little blurry right now, but as soon as I stop moving around, my camera will refocus. And why not throw in some Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and place these over here, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and build our piles. So if you chose number one, this is what we got. So like I said, seven cards total per pile. So that's pile number one. Let's go ahead and get number two. And number three. Oops, I was about ready to grab more cards than I needed. And I may just select a deck randomly, you guys, for con uh, like confirmations, just to let you guys know. So this may not be everything. But this is what we got here. We got deck one, I know, pile one, pile two, pile three. And camera, please, would you unfuzz? See, it didn't work. All right, let's go. Okay, I guess I'm not as magical as I thought. I'm not as mystical as I thought. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take away these two and we're gonna just go ahead and look into number one. Ha, ah, ta-da, look at that. All right, put this up here. Let's get into it. If you chose pile number one or if you would like to start with pile number one for your messages, let's get into it. So these are the things that Spirit wants to bring up, things that are coming up for you. Some things that may be on the horizon for you. Wow, we have four, 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 your hard work and determination is creating blessed foundations for the future. So something that you guys have been working on, you've been you know, d determined, you've been putting a lot of hard work into a goal or a situation, into a foundation, literally these things are about ready to pay off in the near future. I love it. 
and we have faith, you know, you've had faith in something, okay? This is talking about the divine literally supporting you in this miracle, creating this miracle, this blessed future, because you've had faith in your dream, because you've had faith in a situation, it is now coming about, okay? So remember, you guys, this is what's just ahead for us. You are seeing the situation accurately, Horus, okay? So that could be special for some of you out there if you work with gods and goddesses. But this is what we have here. You are seeing this situation accurately. So whatever it is that you've been building, whatever it is you've been wanting to do, whatever you have had faith in, that is something that is coming to fruition in the future, in the near future, you guys. Wow, we have the five of wands. So this is a card of struggle. So again, you know, if we have been struggling so hard to, you know, we've been working hard to make something come about, or maybe that our struggle has been with another person, or just maybe it's been within our own thoughts, our own minds, our own egos. We are definitely breaking through something here for sure. Something is paying off because we are breaking through a situation. It's our belief and our unwavering faith and our hard work and dedication that are creating this in the future. And we have the Ace of Cups, you guys, Ace of Water. So this says Hydrus. This says Wisdom. It says Awareness. I can barely read that. Those are so small. But the Ace of Cups, it's fluid energy, wisdom, emotional, Ace of Cups, your own cup, the beginning of something perhaps, an offer, a brand new offer in love is coming, maybe where things have been stagnant or where things have been challenged in regards to your love life. Maybe something is now coming about. Your hard work, remember, and your dedication and your unwavering faith are paying off. We have all tied up. So whatever has been causing you to feel all tied up, all wound up, again, within your own mind, I feel like what's happening here is something is something is panning out and now we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so if you chose number one whether you are specifically working on a challenged connection or you are wanting to bring about a romantic relationship or just some kind of mutual feeling maybe this is not about romance maybe this is just a mutual fluid feeling with another person you're trying to build towards a specific goal. Something is coming together. Something is fluid. Something is no longer in this strife. Something is no longer all tied up and combative energy. It's flowing energy. So whatever it is, whatever goals that you guys have, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you want, you are bringing this to yourselves. Your hard work and dedication and determination, your faith in something, your just absolute, just unwavering faith that something is exactly the way that it is in your mind, your belief, something is coming about. Somebody is either expressing that cup, offering you that cup, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, they are offering it to you. However you've been bound, this is becoming unraveled. Things are starting to flow. So again, even if it's not about a relationship, I'm just seeing that energies are in your favor moving forward. And in whatever way things have been in challenge or on hold, Barriers are now being broken in the future, and it's your own thinking and your own positive energy that is actually helping the situation to come about. What an amazing first reading if you guys chose number one. That looks so good. So you guys, let's go ahead and move on into number two. All right, if you guys chose number two, let's go ahead and get the messages here. Very first card we have is the belt punish. Okay, very interesting. And we have presence. This is awareness, attention, reality, and connection. Immediately what I'm getting with this combination, and of course this could spell out something else as we continue, we might be looking at life as in we are being punished. We feel like a victim. But this is the deal. We need to become aware. We need to place our attention on things. Like we need to get into a higher vibrational uh, way of thinking. 
this is very 3D level ego sphere ego sphere ego fear vibration and this right here is the crown chakra the higher realm energy here where we are aware of the presence we are aware of the laws of the universe we are aware of just like the flow and the energies we're aware of who we are we're aware of other people and where they're coming from and what they have and what they don't have as far as tools and things that are being done aren't necessarily to punish us and it's not necessarily coming from a place where we're, we that we need to suffer it's coming from a place of maybe learning something so we're becoming aware of this presence of low vibrational energy and we are looking to transmute that we are looking to get through it instead of hold on to it and wallow in it and feel like a victim we're, we're, we're learning to work through that and that's what spirit is saying is that whatever whatever blow you've been dealt whatever shitty situation you have been given you are learning and becoming more aware you you're purposely choosing to focus your attention to the light rather than the wound rather than the darkness and that's what I'm seeing for this reading for those of you that chose number two. So you are changing your awareness. You are no longer focused on that. You're focused more on the light. See how she's looking away from that belt? She's no longer looking at the past and feeling like a victim from the past. She is looking towards the future and she's becoming more aware. She's placing her attention on the light. Wow. And we have number 44. We just had 444, you guys. So there is something that we are building here, okay? Our hard work and dedication and the things that we have gone through, the challenges that we have gone through, they're going to create blessed foundations for our future. So it's actually helping us to become more solid in our future. So number one could also be number two. We have Archangel Gabriel that's saying daily practice. The more that you practice your new skills, the more comfortable and confident you're going to become. So again, this is going to take practice. It's not just going to happen overnight, okay? You know what? We're going to have good days, and then we're going to have some days where we're just going to not feel so freaking positive, okay? We can all think about, yes, I finally understand the light. I finally understand the key. And then all of a sudden, we have like a major trigger, and then we're it's like we were pulled back into this darkness, okay? We're not supposed to be perfect on any kind of a journey or any kind of spiritual ascension process. But you know what? What Spirit is saying here with this is that with daily practice of really taking the time to point your energy off of this energy here and put it into something more positive, this practice, it will get easier and easier as time goes on. That's what I'm getting here. So if you chose number two, what's just ahead of you is looking at things in a different perspective. Okay, and it's going to take some practice and that is okay. We have, see, five of pentacles, you guys. This is old energy. If you chose number two, what's ahead of you is you are changing this energy. You are no longer going to be in the shadows. You're no longer going to hand your power over to someone else. Put your hands, put, I'm sorry, put your fate in the hands of another, okay? You're going to be aware of your own presence. You're going to be aware of a different kind of reality. You're, you're like, you're shifting into a new reality is what I'm seeing for those of you that chose number two. So you're no longer willing to be in this old energy where you're feeling left out in the cold and you're feeling rejected and you're feeling punished and you're feeling like a victim. You're changing this energy. You are sending this energy to a, the next level. That is what is ahead of you if you chose number two. And we have the Empress. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. For some of you, if you're a Virgo, it can be a special message, but you don't have to be a Virgo or even have it in your chart for it to apply. The Empress is about creating things, constructing new energy. Look at this woman here. She is in this kitchen. She's got all of these flowers. She's drying them out. She's hanging, drying herbs perhaps. But the thing is, is she is making progress. She is growing. She is fertile she is creating something new she is no longer playing or replaying the old record she is playing a new tune do you see new strategy 
That's the new strategy if you chose number two. You've got a new strategy when it comes to the way that you're thinking, when it comes to the way that you are identifying with either other people, pain or life. You are changing, transmuting this energy. It is a new strategy. And remember, daily practice, practice. Eventually, it will become a part of you. But you got to start somewhere. So for some of us, it might just, it's so hard to change. It's so hard to change our thinking. But you want to know what? The more that you practice these concepts, the more they're just going to become natural for you. And we have honeymoon. When I see this card here, this is about enjoying the bliss of holidays. Now, it could be that you're enjoying the bliss together with a loved one, but I am really seeing this card is that you are in honeymoon phase of your life, of yourself. This new energy is like a breath of fresh air. You are feeling bliss, and it says something about holidays. If some of you have some upcoming holidays, which I know I do, you are going to be experiencing bliss within this holiday season, and it's because of this new way of thinking. It's because of this more high vibrational energy. And just so you guys know, I chose number two. I'm loving the messages so far. Couldn't apply more. It's beautiful. So anyways, that is number two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely some great things to look forward to. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and go into number three. If you chose number three, let's go ahead and get the messages. We have chills, confirmation, okay? And we have self-esteem. So things that to look forward to, chills, anytime you're getting chills, okay? This is confirmation that something, you, you need to pay attention to something, okay? It's com, com, or confirming a warning or it's confirming that something is correct. You know, whatever that means to you, you gotta pay attention to the, your body, the things that happen within your body that are basically telling you certain things. We also have self-esteem. So this is talking about confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. So what's ahead for those of you that chose number two is that it may be that you are choosing yourself. You are choosing yourself first and foremost above any other situation. Maybe some of you have not done that in the past and going forward into the future, you are changing this aspect of yourself. You are choosing things that are in alignment for you, things that make you feel good. Look at this woman. She looks like she is feeling so good. We also have all of these blossoms to me. You know, that's some kind of a blossom, I think, but it's like we have blooming. You are flowering. You are opening up into yourself. That's what I see for those of you that chose number three and we have gratitude. Wow. You attract more blessings when you appreciate your current blessings. So I'm seeing for those of you that chose number three, it's like you're going into this very high vibrational energy. It's much like number two, um, where we're just changing the way that we look at things. We're changing the way that we look at life. We're no longer looking at the lack. We are looking at the things that we feel blessed for, things that we feel grateful for. When we concentrate on those things, the universe brings more of that to us. So it's about being in alignment with really good happy energy. Yellow to me is happy. It's sunshine. It's growth. It's positive. It's energy. It's beautiful. Wow. You guys, we have two of wands. We have two people here. So we can definitely see partnerships here. We can have the choices that we're making are more in alignment with what we want, what we have, things that we um, you know, want to bring in for ourselves. This could be partnerships. You're collaborating with other individuals that share your same dreams, perhaps. This could be new friendships. This could actually be a romantic partnership. It's like you're more in alignment with who you are, but now what it's, what's happening is that you are attracting somebody of your same vibration. So I do see this card as a twin card, as in we are, you know, mirroring back to what we feel within ourselves. Whatever vibration or frequency we're at, we are now attracting that in another partner. So for some of you, you're wanting to bring a new partner in, or you're wanting to, you know, just kind of bring into your life something that is of your same vibration. It's about just focusing more on you and you are creating this. This is coming to you. It may even be within an existing relationship. Things are now healed because you're feeling better. Now you're able to be on the same page with other people or other people are on the same page as you and things are working. Things are flowing here. Definitely positive energy. And we have the tower. Okay. So this is definitely an energy here of something that is changing. So I'm going to read it. This is Eradinus, and I'm probably not saying that right. It's a new deck. A twist of fate. 
at the mercy of a greater power. When I see the tower, I always look at this as a universal divine inter intervention. It's things that we've been putting off for a while and it's like the divine intervenes and there's no turning back. So if you guys chose number three, something is changing. Some What you cannot or what you have not been able to do for yourself, the universe is stepping in and lending you a hand. So there's a confirmation here that something is changing within the like the choices, a choice that you need to make, which is a two of wands. It can be about a choice or when it comes to a partner, something is shifting and changing. Huge shift, huge energy change, but it's happening for a reason. It is a twist of fate. Maybe it's even a shock or a twist that you didn't see coming. Maybe something is just like, oh my God, I had no idea and you're going to be like getting that confirmation that something is happening for a reason. We have rest and rejuvenation. So again, this is about self-care. It's about getting centered within ourselves. The more that we're focused on our own energy, the more that we're taking care of us, the more that we're making choices based on how we feel instead of worrying about everybody else, the more authentic we're being to ourselves. It's like the universe helps us. The universe steps in to basically give us what it is that we are looking for. Last card. Oh my God, new love, you guys. Now, of course, this can be with an existing partner of course it could but I'm I'm just really getting here that if you guys chose number three there is something on the horizon that is divinely orchestrated I did see a partnership and it's not a surprise to me now to see this new love so there is a new partner doesn't have to be romantic okay it really doesn't but if for some of you you're looking for that I am really seeing that but if it's not romantic this is a new partnership coming into your life. It is a twist of fate. It's fated for you. This person is meant to come into your life or you're meant to blend your energies together and get on the same page with this person so you guys can move forward. There's a confirmation that you're going to be getting. So it's kind of like just rest and relax. It doesn't mean that you don't have to do anything, but really focus more on how you feel in your own energy and be very grateful for what you do have. And I'm just seeing the universe steps in with a twist of fate and brings some kind of new refreshed energy and love or partnership, or maybe even a brand new partner into your life when you least expect it and it's because your energy has shifted and changed you've raised your vibration you've stopped worrying so much the confirmation here is that just chill relax keep doing you focus on you the love will come that you are looking for wow what an amazing reading i hope that you guys enjoyed that thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time all right bye bye